Welcome. In this video, we're going to take a look at our V1 SD data logger. You can place this shield on top of the Arduino. Uh, this black thing is a real time clock. And the clock needs a little memory battery. So you have to place a battery in here to uh, feed the clock. Uh, the first time we use the shield, we have to set the time in the software. This is where the SD card fits in. And you can use your, those holes to solder your own print on it. I connect a, a waterproof temperature sensor to the Arduino. And what you're going to do in this video is we lock the temperature. And then we place this sensor inside a hot cup of tea. And after that we're going to take a look at the data. And let's uh, take a look at the code. You can see that we include five libraries. If you don't know how to uh, include a library, uh, watch uh, the video on the link over here or uh, the link inside uh, the description. This is the pin we use for the shield, that's pin number 10. This is the real time clock, comes from uh, the library. This is uh, the temperature sensor connected to pin number 8. Uh, we have a file to write uh, the data to. And we have our time variable. And inside the setup, uh, it's checking or the clock is running. And if the clock is not running, uh, this will set the clock. If it is the first time you use the shield, you, you need this line of code to write time to the clock. And in the setup, we write one time the year, month, day to the SD card and we write down Celsius and time. And in the loop there is a function which picks up the temperature and, and we write down the temperature to the SD card and we write down the time in hours and minutes. And then we close the file and we delay for three seconds. And outside the loop there is a pick up temperature function. If you put the SD card inside the logger while the Arduino is running, then you have to press the reset button to make sure that all the setup data will be stored on the card as well. I place the SD file inside uh, my computer and uh, this is the uh, log file. If I click on it, then you can see we start locking over here. And my room temperature was 18 degrees. This is the moment I put it in the teacup. And on this side you see the time. And the tea temperature was 71 degrees. And over here I took the sensor out of the tea and the temperature is dropping all the way back to 21. And I imported the log file inside OpenOffice. OpenOffice is an open source alternative for Windows XL. And you can see here, this is the place where I press the reset button and I put it in a nice graphic. Uh, just so fun. Uh, thanks for watching. I will put a link uh, of the code in the description. Please subscribe and have fun with data logging.